The United Nations is set to release its latest report on climate change next Friday. Governments around the world will be watching to see what scientists have to say about potential impacts for their regions. For Singapore, a top concern is likely to be how climate change could affect the risk of flooding. Melissa Chong with this report. This United Nations report is published every five to six years and highlights the latest findings in the rise of temperatures, sea levels and extreme events like floods. Singapore's Interagency Resilience Working Group, or RWG, says ministries will review their plans to fight climate change based on the latest data. And one of the future challenges they expect is more frequent floods. Across Singapore, rainfall has been on the rise. In 1980, average rainfall was 96 millimetres. In 2012, it rose to 117 millimetres. Given the complexity of weather systems, the RWG says Singapore cannot fully avert flood risks. But much can be done to help Singaporeans cope with the challenges. In 2010, PUB identified 22 canals that required upgrading as the old design could no longer cope with more intense storms. We have increased the design requirements for our drains. We are now designing our drains for a, high, a more intense rainfall. So, so, so we need to uh, look at the capacity, whether it's able to cope with a more intense rainfall design. Since works began, sections of the Bukit Timah Canal and Kalang River have been upgraded, providing an increase in capacity of between 15 to 50%. We are now at Rocho Canal. This is one of the sections of the canal that is being upgraded at the moment. Other places like the Geelong River is also undergoing upgrading works. Now the construction has to be done in sections because running underground are electricity cables and gas pipes which cannot be disrupted. PUB says this project is already 60% completed. The upgraded canal will be about 2 metres wider and 1.7 metres deeper, forming a new U-shape which can hold more water. The plan is to eventually upgrade all 22 canals, but works are still in the early stages and PUB is hesitant to pin down a completion date. The government has stepped up efforts, especially after the floods two weeks ago. But it remains to be seen if our resilience can keep up as climate change continues to affect the country.